Cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer, and chronic respiratory diseases are known as non-communicable diseases. In recent years, these diseases have increased as a result of population aging, urbanization, globalization, and changes in lifestyles, and they've become the great epidemic of our age. Non-communicable diseases can largely be prevented by adopting a healthy lifestyle, but to do so requires more than simply personal determination. For example, when wholesome food is more expensive and less available than junk food, when physical activity is a challenge because the parks and recreation areas are not safe or properly equipped, or when it's hard to quit smoking or drinking because advertising of these products seems to be all around us. That is why laws and regulations are needed to make the healthy choice the easiest choice. Without these laws and regulations, more and more people will develop a non-communicable disease and need lifelong treatment that could ruin them financially. But there's still time to stop this epidemic from growing, and some countries in the Americas have already taken action by, for example, reformulating processed foods to make them healthier, informing consumers about the nutrition content of packaged foods, making more fresh foods available, regulating the sale of junk food in schools, as well as providing free drinking water, increasing taxes on tobacco, alcohol, and sugar-sweetened beverages, facilitating access to quit smoking programs, banning tobacco use in enclosed public spaces, and limiting the advertising of cigarettes, alcohol, and junk food. Creating opportunities for physical activity, including creating recreational bicycle paths and promoting the use of public transportation. Governments should ensure access to health services for its population, including access to early detection of disease, diagnosis, medicines, and treatment provided without discrimination and without undue financial hardship. People should be provided with information and support that empowers them to manage their own health, giving them greater control over their health and contributing to the health of their families. This way, all together, we can stop this terrible epidemic from getting worse and enjoy longer, more productive lives. Healthy public policies and healthy lifestyles are the prescription to prevent and control non-communicable diseases. Please share this information, and if you want to find out more, visit our website.